weird to say this, but it's fun and easy to be a jumper. You show up, you pull a chute, you do some training, you jump once or twice, and you get paid. That's not a bad day. Once you go to JM, you don't get to do that anymore. It's a lot of responsibility, but yeah, it's also a lot of fun because you get to see everything from a different aspect. We want to see someone as a jump master go to jump master school. We want to see someone that has a high attention to detail. Getting through the school is very difficult. Becoming a jump master, a proficient jump master, is even more difficult because that's when you have to rely on the mentorship and the training from everyone around you. One of the more recent jumps that we did, three days before the jumps that Friday, we had all the JMs that were going to participate. And even if they weren't going to participate, we got them in to do a jump master refresher. With the palm of your right hand, lift on the base of the... It took about a day, and what that does is that gets them current. You usually try to combine that with a jump. We broke down who's going to be jumping with the sticks. We were able to plan out exactly how that, that jump was going to look to make sure every JM had at least one jumper and everyone got the safety due they needed or they got the jumping JM due they needed. Sunday morning, we rolled in to Fogarty. We conducted all the pre-jump training for the jumpers. So we let them know, hey, you're going to be on aircraft two in stick three. This is your jump master. They do SAR JT. They do PLFs. We conducted the, the mock door training. And then from that point, we rolled over to the air base. They pull their chutes, take their chutes from the, the riggers. They open them up. They make sure the size is correct. One of the key components is JMPI. JMPI is Jump Master Personnel Inspection. It's something that every jumper gets prior to getting on the aircraft. To break it down, real simple, the steps of JMPI is we're checking um, everything on that jumper from the top of their helmet all the way to the bottom of the saddle of the rig. So you're checking every single part of the equipment. We walk everyone out to the aircraft and we give the, um, the load masters and the pilots a, you know, basically a thumbs up and say, yeah, good to go. There's jumping jump master and there's a JM safety or a jump master safety. The jumping jump master controls the jumpers while the jump master safety, the static safety, controls the jump. He's watching everyone. He's watching the jumping jump master. He's watching the jumper. He's making sure their static lines are held correctly. You know, if I'm a safety on that aircraft for that jump, I'm going to tell the jumper the same thing, and I'm going to tell every jumper as I go down the line, hey, I'm your safety, keep eye-to-eye -eye contact with me. I'm your safety, keep eye-to-eye -eye contact with me. I want them to hear that over and over again so they get very comfortable with saying, okay, that's, that's what he wants, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep my eyes on him, I'm going to hand him that stack line, and I'm going to exit out the door. The jumping jump master, he's the one who's going to tell the jumpers to stand up, hook up, check stack lines, check equipment, prepare for the jump. But once the Air Force opens the door and puts the pin in place, he'll do a door check, make sure everything's good, solid, there's nothing has happened to it since we did the aircraft inspection. He'll check out, out of the door, he'll make sure he sees the markers at the one minute mark, he'll give them a one minute. He'll see the marker at the 30 second mark, give the jumpers the 30 seconds. After that, do a final door check, make sure the airspace is all clear. He'll come back in, he'll give a standby, and then he'll wait for that green light and give the first jumper green light go. Once the whole six exited, he will check, make sure there's still green light. He will hand his stack line off to the static safety, and then he will jump himself. At that point, uh, the static safety will basically do a final door check, make sure all the D-bags are empty and there's no tow jumpers. Pull the stack lines back in, Air Force close the door. If it's another stick to go, we turn around and do the whole thing again.